So I'll, here's my phone. I have the uh, the original Rogers ROM installed. Uh, so it's in its it was in its original uh, Rogers HTC sort of condition. So I'm going to hold down this uh, the hang up button, the red hang up button, and I get prompted for power off. So I'm going to power it off, and then it says your phone will shut down. So I get the confirmation box. So I'm going to shut it down. And now it's powered down. So now the phone's off, and I just have the the red light here because the USB is plugged in. So basically, it has power. So now I'm going to hold down the uh, hang up button, which is the red uh, hang up the phone button, and I'm going to hit the back button, which is this, um, you know, the back button right above the above and over from the hang up button at the same time. So hit the so this button will power it on, and then this button will take it into the the fast boot. So there's the fast boot, which is pretty fast, but um, once the fast boot is done, take me back, you know, basically reboot the phone quickly. Uh, if I look at my shell, it says that it's, uh, you know, the waiting for device is gone. It says booting to an image, booting is okay. So that means it's basically, you know, it's moved on. So we look back at the phone uh, here, you can see that it's booted into this um, green text environment. And in the green text environment, I get um, lots of good options that I don't, that I wouldn't get in the normal fast boot environment including options to install any ROM that I choose. <clears throat> the normal um, envir boot environment for the phone just lets me install, you know, uh, Rogers versions of the HTC ROM. This is going to let me install any ROM that I want. Um, at this point, the f what you are going to want to do is you're going to want to do this Nandroid backup. And when you do that, it's going to run a backup of the uh, all the files in the current condition of the phone onto your SD card. That way, once you've done that backup, you can also do the Nandroid Restore. So I did the Nandroid Restore because I had Hero ROM on there originally, but uh, what you want to do at this point is run a backup. I already have a backup, so I don't really need to do that. Um, the only other option that you're going to want here is after you've done the backup, it'll you know draw a few dots on the screen, you'll get a progress indicator, come back to this menu. So you do your backup, you come back to this menu, and then you say choose zip file. So I'm going to choose the zip file. So when I choose the zip file, I happen to have two on here. Like I say, you can have any ROM that you know supports the 32A chipset architecture for this phone. So um, now once I've done that, I'm going to choose the My Hero 1.1.3, which is one of the three files that I downloaded um, originally. Choose that, and then I get a confirmation that it says that uh, you know it's going to confirm that I want to do this. And in order to confirm that, I hit the green uh, call button. So I'll just hit this green call button right here. And now it says um, it's going to be updating and installing packages. And um, there's a little progress bar that's back behind the text there. Um, it's going to spend most of its time at this step verifying the package. And then it's going to spend another quite a long time at copying the package, uh, copying the update package. So at this point, I'm just going to um, pause the video. And, I'll, and when this steps are done, it's going to take me back to that green menu. So I'm going to pause the video now, and then we'll, when the green menu comes back up, I'll turn it back on. Okay, so here we are. We're back um, to the green screen. It says that it is installed from the SD card is complete. So everything is uh, everything is done. Um, it has updated. It's the ROM inside the machine to the Hero ROM. So now I can just say reboot the system. And when I reboot the system, I'm, uh, same thing. I'm going to pull off the USB because I don't really, I don't really need that connected at this point. Um, at this point, it's going to um, go through a boot up screen, and it's going to end up in the Hero ROM sort of setup environment. Um, and then at that point, I can just put in my, uh, you know, my Google login information, and um, and get everything set up from that point. Uh, yeah. So I just wait, wait for this to boot up. Uh, it's a little slow to boot up on the first time because I guess it has a lot of configurations and stuff to set up, and then um, you go through some setup screens, and then and then it gets you right into the regular uh, regular login. So we'll just wait for that.
Alright, so now we're getting a menu bar at the top. The date is wrong, it's just... Or the time is off, but it will update itself here. Alright, so the time has updated itself, which is good. Um, and now I get this, uh, a choice of what language I want to speak. Um, there's a lot of, <coughs> there's a lot of languages in here that say English, so... I don't know, but I'm going to scroll to the bottom of this list. <coughs> At the bottom of the list I get English, English without a country, so I'll just choose that one. And then I'll just say next. Um, here I get a, a little tutorial on how to type on the, on the touchscreen keyboard, but I don't need to do that, so I'll just skip that. And then now it's going to ask me for my Wi-Fi information, so I'm just going to do this, and then I'll, um, I'll set up my Wi-Fi off screen, one sec. Alright, next. So here's where I set up my um, Google account information. So I'll hit that, tap to set up, and hit next. So I'm going to sign in. I'm just going to do my sign in here. All right, so there's my Google information. Sign that in. So now I get the option to um, do a Microsoft Exchange email or, or another uh, IMAP or POP email account, but just that Google's fine with me. So I'll go next. Now here's where I get to um, put in all my Facebook, Flickr, and uh, you know, Plurk. I don't know what Plurk is, but here's Twitter. So I can put in all the information for that. I don't need to do, I don't need, really need to do this right now because um, you know I can just add that information later. So I'll just skip that step. Here's where Google's asking me if it, if I if they can uh, keep my log or my GPS information so they can see where I am. I'll say next, sure, and then finish. And there you go. Apparently I played some music here, so you might want to do this in a place where you can make some noise. <laughs> 